Hi, this is Nino Gonzalez, and welcome to another episode of Making Sense. Well, today I have the pleasure of having two individuals from GECU of El Paso, and we're going to be talking about a project that they're working on with the Internal Revenue Service, which is VITA, Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program, and we're going to talk about the training and the different sites and what services they provide. And I've got my two guests here. We have Ruby Alvarez and we have Larry Garcia. So right. thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with me. Yeah. Well, thank you for inviting us. Okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, Ruby, and, and how you got involved with this and a little bit about your background. Uh, I have been with GECU for 19 years and we have helped the community throughout the years now. I'm part of the community development departments. Uh, I work alongside with Larry and uh, we are working with the IRS on this VITA program. So I have lending background and now it's you know focusing on helping the community with different products Great. and services. Well, well uh, that's good to see that at least um, you get the ability to work in, in different areas with that organization. Yes. That's excellent. And, and Larry, I know we've, we've met before, you know, uh, through the association with the school and, and, and announcing about the getting volunteers to help out with the VITA program. Tell me, uh, tell the audience a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, I've been involved with uh, community development for about 20 years. Um, now I'm with GCU doing the same thing. Okay. Uh, you know, we're taking a major role in this VITA program and, uh, you know, we we know it's going to be successful. Um, I, we think that it's uh, it's it's very important for for our community because it saves a lot of money for families that that really need the money, and uh, um, and we make sure that the the, the you know taxes prepared correctly, right. and that they they receive whatever they are due. You know whatever um, uh, you know tax credits they're due. We make sure that, that they receive that. Right. Well, well, let's talk a little bit about the background mm -hmm. of VITA, of the Volunteer Income and Tax Assistance Program, which was developed by the IRS years, years back. Uh, what is the whole focus and the mission of this program? And I think in the focus is to help the community, and the greatest thing about it is that it's free. Okay. And so it's free assistance for, for our community, and so we prepare their taxes and what's great about it is we get the whole community involved okay. and um, the IRS is very supportive we have a coalition and so we have partners we all come together we train people to make sure that these taxes are prepared properly and we have different sites throughout the city and you know our mission is to help our community and okay. save them money and and GCU how did they get involved with the coalition um, I've noticed that they're taking a bigger part in the participation with the VITA program. This is very important to us because, you know, it helps the community and we focus on helping our community and make sure that we serve and provide the services that are needed. And this is one of the biggest, one of the things that we've identified that has helped and we've seen it work. We did start with the IRS when it was implemented back in 2003. 2003. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, so let's let's talk a little bit. I think we're going to talk about two sides, uh -huh. um, and let's talk about the side of volunteering. Uh, I know that the Vita program is always looking for volunteers. Larry, you've come out to some of my classes and yes. and asked for students to volunteer in the program. Right. I know that you work with other institutions such as UTEP and trying to get a volunteer base, but who can volunteer and how do you get them trained? Let's talk about this. And we can get almost anyone to volunteer as long as you're willing and able to go through the training and go out there to the sites and help, we welcome you. We will be giving you more information on when our training is held and where it will be held. It is a, a course that takes about 12 to 15 hours. Our volunteers can also certify online if you know they can't come out to the formal training. Mm. And once you're trained and certified, then you can volunteer at any of the sites that so, are available. So, so they can do the training two ways. They can either go yes. live or, they, or they can do it online. Correct. Yeah, we, we have. Uh, we're going to have training sessions. Usually, they start in, in December, and they run through halfway through January, mm -hmm. okay. and that's face to face and. Uh, that's with usually an IRS trainer or one of our, the coalition's trainers. 
and then uh, the, and we'll help them help them get certified. Or if if they have uh, feel comfortable using the internet, you know, there's online classes they can do it on their own time, and uh, it's probably about a 16-hour course all together. And we'll have an open lab in case they have questions or they they don't feel confident in something they can c come to our site and and you know ask questions right. we'll help them uh, certify you know so so if, if you get an individual and they've never prepared taxes before don't know anything uh, you'll get them all trained and set up to go yes Definitely. We will. and we'll, we'll make sure that they have uh, enough confidence in doing the tax returns yeah because uh, you know when they're out there volunteering um, this their work is overseen correct that's correct if everything that every return is quality reviewed 100%. Okay, great. So every single return is reviewed by uh, usually an experienced um, um, tax preparer. And, and this is training that they can use um, for maybe career advancement or maybe get a, a different profession or, or things like that. And, and it's free, right. correct? It's That's free correct. and yeah. it's also for their knowledge, for right. their own taxes, That's their family, exactly they right. get questions. So it's very good information to know for yourself. Not only are you getting information for yourself, but you're also helping people. Now, now yeah. the training sessions are the ones that are live. Are they usually held during the day or in the evening or on weekends? We have we're going to have them at the GCU Operations Building. We're going to have one in the evenings, and we're going to have one on Saturdays so that it's accessible to people that want to come from 6 to 9, or if they want to come two full day Saturdays, then we'll also have them. Oh, great. Right, so if you're working, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try and make uh, uh, something scheduled around that. And, and how do you get them certified? Do they have to take an exam? They have to take an exam. They have to take a series of exams. One is on ethics, and then one is on... Um, on whatever uh, level that they're testing at, and there could be two. It could be a basic, or it could be advanced. Okay, and and so the sessions that you're doing here are they both the basic and the advanced? Yes, we will have training for both basic and advanced. So we recommend that if it's going to be your first year volunteering, that you try the basic. Okay. And we have many volunteers that come back and say, you know what, I'm ready to do the advanced, and and so we'll have both available. And and what what areas does the basic cover like if I were to take the basic course um, what type of returns would I you, be, you'd be able to you'd be able to prepare a 1040 easy okay okay so in advance you might be able to go at 1040 with a schedule A okay right and maybe I a, 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 a CEZ also okay for, for uh, uh, self-employed uh, and and with, with the advance also the 1040 A 1040A, right. Okay. In fact, we don't we don't actually use 1040Zs. Uh, we just use 1040s. 1040s. Yes. Okay. So, so um, you know, you train from that level up. So. Okay. So, so if if I go and get the basic uh, course, I can prepare basic tax returns mm -hmm. um, with really no complications. That doesn't involve. Does that involve also some credits in there or for the basic? Yes. Oh yeah. You you uh, you make sure that. Uh, they, they obtain whatever uh, earned income tax credits or child tax credits mm -hmm. or, or and, and also uh, um, education credits. Okay. And it may elderly credits also. Oh, wow. So, okay. you know, we make sure those are, are uh, uh, accessible. Right. If, if, you know, if they pertain to And also, I guess, try, trying to determine whether uh, an individual can claim a dependent or not. Or That's correct. Or things like yeah. that. That's correct. And, yes. and, and so the advanced course, now let's say that I've completed the basic. So can I complete both at the same time, or yeah. or do I have to do one one year and then one the next year? No, no, you can you can do um, basic or and advanced at uh, the same year. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So so what will I learn in the advanced course? It's a little bit more than in the than the basic uh, tax return. You know, like I said, you might uh, get into Schedule A and Schedule C, easy. The, right. The easy um, the easy Schedule C, right for for. Uh, for self-employed, uh, self yeah, right? Right. Um, and Schedule A is what itemized deductions. It's the itemized deductions. That's correct. Uh -huh. Okay. And so. Um, oh, and, and another another thing that we we started last year is being able to determine any if the if the taxpayer is uh, uh, qualifies for any ACA uh, Affordable oh, Care Act right. uh, credits. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's a big thing right now. And and that's also a big issue uh, that some some individuals might not be aware of that they might be penalized if they're not covered. That's correct. And unfortunately, a lot of the uh, individuals, 
didn't take advantage of enrolling. So at the end of the year, they might they might uh, have to pay a penalty. Right. Last year it was uh, not too high, you know, I think, $93. I think this year it's like in the thousands. This year it's it's a lot more. Right. It's a lot more. Right. And next year it's going to be even more. Yeah. So, so um, you know, for, for those individuals that don't know, don't know, the ACA is the Affordable Care Act or, uh, yes. you know, more mm -hmm. commonly known as Obamacare. Obamacare. Yeah. Uh, and, and that people have to be enrolled and they could face certain penalties. Uh, yeah. So tell me about now that I've gone through the basic and the advanced. Um, as I'm aware, the, the IRS also provides other training online. Um, is there an international uh, well, training you, that I can take? You can actually go to a higher level. So you can take an international where if, if you have uh, somebody that's um, living here and, and is not a resident, you can prepare their tax return also. Mm -hmm. um, and you have um, military also. There's there's a military right. portion. So, yeah. And, and, and you do have... Uh, international sites where you can help international students or the military and yes uh, did you say you had one at Fort Bliss uh, we're, we're scheduled to have an international site um, um, at UTIP okay mm -hmm. and Fort Bliss uh, has the military and they're up to the international level also Wow yeah. okay and we also have an international I think at um, YMCA Northeast I think they're able to do that also okay so I want to volunteer what do I do Sign up. Yes. Where, <laughs> where do I sign up? Yeah, you, you can um, you can uh, look up uh, freetaxeselpaso.org. Okay, and, and, and we'll put those addresses up at, on the slide so people can have access. And there, to there's that. a selection in there where you can say volunteers. You know, you can just enroll. put your enroll. And you can enroll, and yes. you can pick what classes you want to take and where. Yes, exactly. that's correct. Great. Yeah. Wow, so this is this is great training opportunities for individuals that maybe want to learn a little bit about taxes, maybe have a little bit of a, a career change, and like you said, it's all free of charge. So now let's talk about where do you usually get your volunteers from? Where 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 does the majority of your volunteers come from? From all over. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we get volunteers. There's the retired volunteers. We get volunteers from you know from UTEP. From community college, from um, our GCU from employees, our, you know, our, our own employees, right? Our own employees do a great job, also. Right. Um, yeah, they're very committed, and 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 uh, well, some of the other partners, they also volunteer their employees. Right. So it's it's a uh, it's, but it's a tough volunteer uh, job. You know, it's tough. Yeah. But well, if you go through it, um, boy, it re you you really grow as a person because you 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 learn interview skills, you learn how to how to deal with uh, with folks out in the real world, you know, um, how to relate to, um, you know, peers and, and uh, you know, what other types of, of, uh, of uh, businesses you can, you can, uh, okay. you can get into, you know. And like Larry it's mentioned, it, it, it is, you know, it requires your time, but the value that it brings to the community and, you know, it's your very, satisfaction. it's very rewarding. Right. And for students out there that haven't tried it or haven't done it, it's, it's very rewarding because you get that exposure and that experience mm -hmm. of interviewing people wow. and actually doing mm -hmm. something face to face and it's very rewarding because people are very appreciative of the help that we're giving them. Well, thank you. And let's 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 take a little break and we'll okay. come back and discuss more about the services that Vita provides and uh, who, what type of individuals they serve on the second half of Making Sense. Welcome to the second half of Making Sense, and we were discussing about the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program that's provided uh, by the IRS and is being spearheaded by GCU of El Paso. And we were talking about the training, and uh, we, we put up a slide where you can sign up and enroll in the training, and as you mentioned, uh, the live classes are going to be held at the main building of GCU, which is that architecturally yes. nicely shaped the beautiful building, building. The, the beautiful <laughs> building uh, that that can be seen from from the interstate. So uh, let's let's talk now more about why Vida was developed, uh, and I think uh, what type of population you serve. So now let's go to the other side. I want to have my taxes pre prepared. 
So can I go to the BIDA site? Is there income requirements? What, what do I need to do in order to have my taxes prepared? Well, the rule that we use is if you earn less than, well, 54000 or less for this year, mm -hmm. we'll, pre we'll help you with your taxes. Okay. okay. Um, we, we normally can't help if you have income from rentals, okay. properties. Uh, usually we stay away from that. But because it gets kind of complicated and you have depreciation and all that. Mm -hmm. But normally everything else we will go How about if I have some investment income and things like that? Y you might have some investment income. That's, I mean, that'll be fine. Uh, if it's all investment income, yeah, we try not to, you know, sure. I think you can probably afford to pay somebody, <laughs> right? <laughs> so if I'm a day trader, probably but not. But, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of folks on Social Security and live on pensions and, and some investments. Yeah, we do those, you know. Okay. Those, we, we have a lot of those uh, taxpayers and, coming in. And you mentioned, you know, Schedule C Easy, which is um, basically um, for for self-employed individuals. So right. what what level do you, it, it's a, it's do you a, cut it off? Yeah, it's a, it's a small level. Our, our cutoff is if you have $25,000 of expenses or less. So if you have more than 25000 of expenses, we can't really prepare that. Right. We're not allowed by the IRS. Okay. So there's certain restrictions on that, and you can't have employees and depreciation. Oh, okay. But other than that, we, we can help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So, so the income level that you mentioned before, is that if you're single, or that's if you're married filing jointly, or is that total combined? That, that's jointly. Okay. Um, single, I believe it's we we uh, it's about thirty thousand, I believe. I'm, I can't around remember okay. what this what it is for this year, but it's around there. Yeah. Okay. But um, you know, as long as as um, your income is fifty four thousand or less, we'll go ahead and help you. And and so so, what other services do you provide? I mean. Um, do you give me the return and I mail it in, is, is, or do you electronically file for me? Is and w well, what we'll other? Pre we'll prepare the return. We'll we'll make sure that it's quality reviewed to make sure that everything is is correct, and then we'll submit it electronically immediately. Wow, yeah. and that's free of charge too. That's free yes. of charge. Wow. Which means that you get your taxes. If everything is done correctly, you should get your refund within a week. Seven to ten days is what we say, but sometimes it's... And it's that's if it's directly deposited into a checking account, account correct? If you have a direct deposit. If you want it mailed, it might be six weeks. Okay. Yeah. So and, and you do this free of charge? We do this free of charge. Because, right. you know, uh, I know that there's a lot of tax preparation businesses out there that yes. prepare some of these returns, and I've seen the fees, yeah. and they can range in the several hundred dollars for simple type of returns that could have and been prepared by, by your organization. And that's right. what we're doing is we're helping the communities mm -hmm. save as much money as possible. So it is free of charge. We'll get you a copy just like they do when you prepare your taxes and we'll file it electronically. And like Larry said, if it all goes well, you'll get your return deposited in your account within seven to 10 days. Yeah, I mean, these are families that, that really need every cent. Right. You know, I, I think last year we averaged about 25,000. That was the average income for the families. So they, they are lower income and, and you know they can use every penny. Okay. So we make sure that they keep it. You know? and, and what about, let's say I'm volunteering and you, you said the, the return is quality controlled, you know, quality reviewed. Uh, but what if I make a mistake? Will I be held liable as, as a volunteer? Well, there, there, as a volunteer, you're exempt from, from any errors that you make. Okay. Unless they were intentional. Okay. Right? So it goes to, you know, sure. if, if they're intentional, then you might, you could be held liable for it, right? But Other if than it's that, an honest mistake. Right, if it's an honest, honest mistake, uh, you know, there's a Volunteer Protection Act that will, you know, keep mm -hmm. you from, from uh, liability. Okay, and, and what if um, my return, there's something wrong with it? Um, let's say it's filed electronically, it comes back, it wasn't accepted. Do you take it from there also? Try and correct it. Yes, and we'll t and we'll do and we'll help do, do the correction as well. And uh, it's very important that these individuals check their email because it goes to their email, okay. and uh, they can contact us again, and we'll go ahead and help them with a the correction. And and so now there's also sites I can go right um, where I can prepare my taxes online for free, also at a certain income level. Why? Should I go to you and not just me go on the internet and do this? Well, actually, we would encourage you to do it on your own, on the internet. Uh -huh. we, we actually have a website mm -hmm. that you can go through, 
and it's you have a choice of four vendors. Right. And if you fall within a certain uh, income level, mm -hmm. you can go in there and prepare on your own, and it's free. Right. Okay. And, and those are a little bit higher. The income level is up to about sixty thousand, more okay. or less. Yeah, and you'll you'll have a choice of four. I don't know exactly which ones. They we're going to be year. we're going to be putting them on but, there. But that's that's also that's part of our service also through the IRS, right? That's yes, that's that correct. Provides them. Yes, yeah. and it's actually part of our coalition service also. Oh wow! It'll be through our website, and, and we'll have uh, uh, some of the volunteers like GCU uh, uh, organizations will have the link on there also. Like so so I could try it on my own, and I, I guess if I stumble, I guess I could go to one of the volunteer yes, sites and okay. and have it finished there if I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Exactly. Okay. And so going back to the training, mm -hmm. um, how do they prepare these? You said, well, I'm, you know, since they're done electronically, I'm assuming you use software. It's web-based. It's web-based yes. software, and it's probably with one of the major, uh, you know, yeah. uh, software producers. So they get also experience in, in using actual tax software out there, correct? That's correct. And it's, it's actually CCH tax-wise in the IRS contracts with CCH. They actually put it out every couple of years right. mm -hmm. as a as a um, uh, request for you know for performance or uh, and then the, but CCH has been the the tax um, company for the past uh, three or four years. So wow! So they're coming out with that skill also of actually yes. using a tax software program. That's correct. Exactly. Right, and they're trained very well in how to use it because they have to <laughs> they have to learn how to use it pretty good. Yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. wow! And yeah. so now. Is there, let's say I show up uh, to one of the sites to have my taxes prepared. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the average wait time? I guess it all depends how, how early or late in the year I go. Um, yeah. You know, am I, gonna, am I gonna be waiting there for a while? And there, it just depends, like you mentioned, on the site, the time, Saturdays are very busy. They're our most popular days. Right. We are working with our different sites to make sure that we're available in the evenings, Saturdays when people are really needing the service so in our website we'll also have times and dates of the sites that are available i would recommend to be prepared to wait because it is free sure. and it is a face-to-face -face service there is a high demand but we're very excited about how many people yeah, come and, out and it and also depends on how many volunteers you have so right. the more volunteers we get out there the more individuals we can serve, we can serve. and the faster we can serve, and the faster right. we can. So, so it also it, it works both ways. Right. Both, yes, yeah. and it's very important. If they weren't for our volunteers, this program would not be successful. So, right. it's very important yeah. to have a large number of volunteers. And, and does does the individual who volunteer do they get some sort of recognition uh, for providing service to the community? They do. You know, at the end of the the session, the tax season. We have a, a, a recognition dinner, oh, and, wow. mm -hmm. and then we give them uh, certificates. And some of these certificates are pretty nice. You know, they're they're from the the the, the you know the congressman, from the state senator, wow. from from the mayor, from yeah, they're, they're re very nice um, certificates. You know, and a, a lot of the, our volunteers really appreciate them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They can hang up on their wall, and you know. Show everybody how, how they volunteer and right. help them. And, and not, for not their resumes. That, for your resume. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. It definitely it improves is. that. Yeah. Right. And I was going to ask you another question. So I want to volunteer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, in the past I, I used to volunteer, and that's one of the ways I would keep current on, on tax law and, mm -hmm. and go out there and help the community because it changes so much every, every year. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd, I'd like to ask you, I want to volunteer. Um, do I have a set schedule or is it up to me? Uh, where I want to volunteer or what hours I want to put in, it's, how does it work? It's up to you. Whenever you see the sites that are available, you contact that site coordinator and you say, you know what, I'm interested in this site, and you let us know when is it that you can come. So it's really up to you when you can So I can help. put in as many hours or as little exactly. hours you know, as I want? Yes, as many or as little uh, yes. uh, that you want, that work for you. Okay. The days that work for you, the mm -hmm. locations that work for you. Yes. Uh -huh. And and have you had any success stories from these volunteers that have gone, you know, uh, maybe in into tax business or working uh, that that this skill set has helped them? Yeah, I know that that actually some of the volunteers have gone on to work for the IRS. Oh wow. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then uh, or to work for other nonprofits around the country. Yeah, th I mean it's um, you know it's it's a. Uh, um, uh, quality that that uh, you develop, you know, that that's sought after by by companies, by schools, by uh, uh, 
you know, uh, employers, especially employers. Right. Know, right so. and, and one of the things that, that we hear um, from employers is, you know, the thinking skills, the analytical skills, which yes. definitely by preparing taxes, you, you right. need to have that. And the communication skills. The relational skills. Right. Interviewing you know, skills. That's, that's exactly yeah. right, because when you're talking to a client, you, you've got to gather that information, and right. sometimes you have to ask the correct questions in order to pull that information from that client. Exactly. That's so. great. Yeah, and it, it kind of, le you learn to think fast also, you know, because right. sometimes you have to make some quick and decisions. And then also you, you learn how to work under pressure when you look see outside the crowds. <laughs> and you see the line out there. Yeah. <laughs> you have a line going around the building twice, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, you know, uh, when we used to have a, a volunteer site at EPCC and it was Saturdays, we, we used to have a line and, so, you know, unfortunately we used to have to cut it off at a certain level uh, if we wanted to get out of there at a certain hour. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the more volunteer base we have, the more we can serve. Plus, yeah. um, you're not just helping others, you're helping yourself with, with a skill set that you can use in the future. Right. Exactly. Okay. Well, you know, I want to thank you for the opportunity for coming by and um, make sure that, that uh, we provide the public the information to, to get the appropriate volunteers that you need, mm -hmm. but not only that, get the people that need this service to come out and use this community-based service. And I want to thank GCU and, and, of course, the IRS and the entire coalition for taking time out of your busy day to come in and do this show and inform the public. Thank and you. Well, no, thank you for having thank us. You. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that concludes another episode of Making Sense, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.